core engagement, making sure we keep the neutral spine, and then also making sure that we're connecting that shoulder into our scapula just to really stabilize that whole unit from shoulder to hip, okay? So we're gonna set up heels almost to the wall, depending on your leg length, it just varies, but the main thing is that when you set up, you wanna make sure that there's some tension in the swift ball against the wall, and also that we're not way stretched out like so, or like way up here where we're not getting good lineup, okay? So, Swiss balls right behind your butt. Quadruped position, so shoulders more or less underneath the, or over the hands and hips over the knees. And then from here, we're gonna take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, push back. Notice I'm not letting my back change shape. Core should be nice and engaged. Shoulders should be really driving into the floor. And then come back to neutral. So same thing again, breathe in, push back, exhale, so engage the core, don't let your spine change shape, and then back to neutral. Now as you progress with this, you can also add an arm raise, alternating arm raise. So if you do that, breathe in, push back, exhale, and as you do so, stabilize, keep everything the same, raise up that opposite arm, come back to neutral, same thing on the other side, breathe in, exhale hard, Set the core, reach 